So I'm down in the electrical room and uh, I have a new emergency backup generator as of earlier this year, thanks to my dad who thought it was a very, very smart thing to have. And I agree, even though we haven't had regular use of it, um, haven't had regular need of it, uh, the idea is that it's supposed to switch over to generator power all the circuits that are on the panel on the right hand side. And that leaves us with a lot of uh, empty or unused breakers in the main panel. And the way this was set up is in this main disconnect, we've taken from the fuses, we've routed 200 amp conductors. I don't know what the size is off the top of my head because I'm not an electrician. Uh, <laughs> um, we've taken and routed those over to here, over to the transfer switch panel. And um, what happens then is when the main incoming power is disconnected, there's a solenoid, a voltage sensing circuit uh, up there in the, uh, in the top section of that emergency panel that'll sense that and flip over to generator power. So I'm going to flip this disconnect switch and we're pretty lightly loaded. We don't have the ACs on, so that's, uh, I'm, not, I'm not opening uh, big, big current at the moment. But within a few moments, we should have the generator start, which we probably cannot hear. And we should have that switch over and the lights should come back on. And there you have it. We are running on emergency power. And now when I restore the utility power, we should have this switch instantly switch back and the generator should stop running. So we have utility reconnected and clearly there is a delay, which is probably a good thing. We're just waiting for that switch to snap back. And the red lights should turn off. So I don't know if this delay is to keep the generator from short cycling or if it's just to make sure that the power doesn't come back on and then go back off again quickly. I don't know if that's... I don't know what the deal is. So one thing that I don't think there was a way to get around, but I'm not loving, is the amount of splices that had to be made inside the main panel. And I had that main panel looking pretty neat and tidy with the zip ties and everything, and now it just looks like a bowl of spaghetti. But what are you going to do? I guess that comes with the territory. Wow, it's been six and a half minutes. Shazam! Nope. And there we are. So we are back on full utility power. And the red light on the generator panel indicates that the generator is going to continue to run for several more minutes. But that's all functional. That took uh, over five minutes to switch back once the utility power was restored. But it does work.